Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve equations with decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Solve p over a negative 1.8 equals a negative 6.5. Where a multiplication property of quality states we can take a number and multiply it to both sides of the equation. If we make that number a negative 1.8, we'll eliminate that on the left hand side. So I'm going to go rewrite this just so we can see it a little better. Negative 1.8 equals a negative 6.5. I'm going to multiply both sides by that negative 1.8. The negative 1.8 cancels on the left, leaving me p by itself. Negative 6.5 times a negative 1.8, that's going to be a positive number, but I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be. So let's do some multiplication here, if I have some room. I'll do it over here. We have a 6.5 times a 1.8. Well, 8 times 5 is a 40, 0 carry to the 4, and 8 times 6 is a 48, plus 4 is a 52. Place value here for the 0, and now we deal with the 1. 1 times 5 is a 5, and 1 times 6 is a 6. We add the two numbers together, 0 and 0 are 0, 2 and 5 as a 7, and 5 and 6 is 11. But don't worry, 1170 doesn't seem like a right answer. We look at our decimal places. We have one decimal place here and one. So one place, if you can write it, one place, meaning when we add them together, we should have two places two decimal places we need. So we can start here and move over to 1, 2, 11.7. So p by itself, I can make a little line here, p is equal to well, negative 6.5 times a negative 1.8 is a positive 11.7. All right, so now let's go check that. We rewrite our equation, p over a negative 1.8 equals a negative 6.5. I can write the fives. We're going to plug in 11.7 in for p. 11.7 over a negative 1.8. Is that equal to a negative 6.5? Well, we have to do some long division here. Ignore the negative sign on the left hand side. And let's rewrite this as 1.8 goes into, if I can fit it, 11.7. Now, a little rules here. Again, don't we want that to be positive, or not positive. I like, don't like dealing with decimals, so just move it over to be an 18, and this be a 117. Same thing. 18 goes into 11. No, 18 goes into 117. I believe that is 6 times, and 6 times 18 is a 108. From there, subtract the two numbers. 117 minus a 108 is a 9. We have a place value here, a 0. Bring that down. 0 here, decimal. It's kind of tight to see here. 18 goes into 90, that's going to be 5 times. 5 times 18 is a 90. Subtract two numbers, get a 0, meaning we're done. Let me separate that here. So, the left-hand side is a 6.5, but it had to be negative. Positive divided by a negative is a negative, and that is equal to negative 6.5. We're good. Our left and right-hand side are equal, confirming that P equals a 11.7 is a solution to our equation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with decimals. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.